All right, guys, so today's the day we do the giveaway for the Matco Ratchet. One of those subscribers that left a comment um, will win this ratchet today, but obviously, Matco Michael and Mrs. Matco is outside, so we have to get that taken care of, and we will announce the winner of this in the video today, so you guys don't go anywhere, because somebody's getting this bad boy today. Come on. It is Friday. Yes. Finally. It could not get here quick enough. And uh, the way the weather looks, it's gonna be a beautiful evening and weekend. Just in time to mow the yard. Woo, man, that looks awesome back there. So we did, we had two carts, if you remember. Yeah. Um, we had the thunderstorm gray textured, not thunderstorm gray, it was uh, a silver vein. I'll get my colors right. Either way, it was the textured uh, roll cart. We had it. She set it up Sunday night. Uh, third shop, Monday it sold. Uh, so I just took the blue one and slid it back there. Did the same way with it. Uh, unfortunately, while unloading the silver or yeah, the silver vein cart the truck decided to break down. So oh that's my. all the shops I hit Monday. Gosh. So we've been kind of running kind of crazy this week. Uh, it's kind of aggravating because the truck's under warranty, but you had to pay a $500 tow bill to get it down there. And then it was gonna take them two weeks to even get to it. So I what fixed- What was that, an emissions issue? It was a def issue. The def header went out. Always. And uh, the guy tried to tell me it wasn't a common issue, but they had three of them in stock and it was over $1,000. I don't see you keeping something over $1,000 in stock when it's not an issue. So either way, I got, to, I got to reading on it and it is definitely a common issue. Plus it's redesigned. So I went ahead, put it in. Luckily my scanner uh, is able to go in and clear the codes. I went ahead and did a force regen after doing it because I had got down, it had degraded it below 45. Yeah. So I was lucky enough to get home before it went any lower, but. Well, it's always that day off, man. Man, it uh. Thanks, California. <laughs> <laughs> it's definitely fun, for sure. Absolutely. Well, I'm gonna check this out. This is very nice. Tons of stuff. That cart has actually did a couple things for us. Um, obviously, that one hasn't sold yet. The first one did. Um, but every time I put something in there, uh, it seems to be attractive. I, I could have it on a the front shelf as you walk into the door. And nobody ever touch never it. Never look at it. But I've put three different Milwaukee impacts in there and they have all sold. So I'm actually out of the Milwaukee uh, impact kits that I had. So, Well, that's a nice setup. So how much would it cost for somebody to take that home exactly like it says? Uh, Approximately a week approximately a week but i'm gonna say about 20 25 dollars and within five dollars of that wow so there ain't no excuse for a guy not to have a nice roll car then well and that's and, <laughs> and <laughs> you know starting out it's it's nice to get a big old box and yeah. you know have the, the biggest box in the shop but if you're just starting out you really need hand tools and stuff man first. i'm gonna tell you my suggestion, because a roll cart is the handiest thing you have, buy that first, work out of it. When you outgrow that, then buy a box and they use it for everything you don't use all the time. Right. And well, and, and roll the big, that roll cart around. Yeah, and see, most people, they, they do right the opposite. But you also have people that buy the roll cart and then when they outgrow it, they'll just trade it in on towards the box. And then they don't. I mean, I'm glad to do that, yep. but now you've got, you went from being completely mobile to sort of stationary. I mean, it does have wheels and everything, but most shops ain't got room to roll a big old toolbox around. So I personally would keep the roll cart and I would use it, like you said, I'd roll yeah. it from job to job. And I, I know, you know how our shop's laid out. 
You know, I kind of got my box on the side in the middle. But till I bought that roll cart, man, that sucked walking back and forth. Because you'd be working on, a, say, the back axle on a trailer doing brakes or whatever. You'd have to walk all the way up there to get to, you know, one tool, come all the way back. It was just, when I got the roll cart, it made things a whole lot easier. Yeah, you know? well, and, and every job, even if you do the same job every day, yeah, you're gonna get a pretty good idea of what tools you need, but at some point, something's gonna happen and you're gonna need a different tool to get past that uh-oh that's happened. Yep. Uh, and you're gonna have to walk, so. Always something. It's always something. Now, when I was a technician, I was lucky enough to have my box. Um, Toyota actually made it to where you had to have, I don't know if they're the same way now or not, but their rule was when they built the shop, it had to have stationary boxes. They all had to look the same. Uh, I was lucky enough to have my lift right in front of my box. Oh, yeah. Um, but before that, I didn't, and I would have to walk from about me to you. Mm. That gets old uh, several times a day, much less if your box is on the other end of the shop. So yeah. I, a roll cart would have did me good then. Uh, nice. Definitely is. Well, so y'all got a bunch of Milwaukee bundles on sale, or everybody just buying it because they're sitting in a roll cart? Uh, well, they basically bought it because they saw it in the uh, the roll cart. I'd put a Milwaukee impact in there and they'd say, do we have to buy the cart to get the, the impact? No, you know, this is this is the price yep. of the impact. Well, I want it, so, there you okay. Go. You know, you, <laughs> that's, I mean, Easy we, enough, right? Yeah, we rotate the- I guess that's why, have you ever noticed every time you go to Walmart, you go to the shelf and your stuff will be there. The next yep. time you go, they move it somewhere else. That's probably why they do that, so. Well, and uh, we actually did that Sunday. Uh, we do that, we try to do it periodically. Uh, we don't do it as much as Walmart. Walmart seems like every time you go mm -hmm. in there. But uh, it just gets you to look, because it, it it becomes to where you think you know what's on this shelf, you yep. think you know what's on this shelf, and you stop looking at everything else. So the way they get you at Walmart is you go to that aisle and you're like, well, crap. It's not here. So you gotta walk down every aisle. Well, to try to find uh, it. you probably came to get something for supper, so you're already hungry. Yeah. So now you're seeing all the snack foods and all that good stuff. So you're putting a little Debbie Christmas tree cakes in there and the, <laughs> so, the yeah. Doritos and everything else that you wouldn't have even went down that aisle. They get you, man, they got you. They got so, it figured out. So basically the same thing on a tool truck. We just don't get that, that hunger uh, shopping. But That's what y'all need to do is hide a couple of snacks that do there that. There you go. Jerky every now and then. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, that would probably work too. So y'all got a new tool, it's like. We do have a new tool. Um, it is a extra long oxygen sensor flex head ratchet and wrench, right? Okay. So 22 down here, 22 up here. This is kind of, uh, I don't well, it's kind of hard not to say following in Trebus's steps because mm -hmm. they were the first one that I saw that had it like that. Um, but we have the oxygen sensor wrench that has the uh, ability not to have to cut the wire and plug it, uh, get it out of there. Has extra length there, flex head. So I don't know uh, if they plan on coming uh, with any other wrenches, you know, in different sizes and stuff like that. Have a lot of interest in this one. Talked to some other distributors. They're sold really quick. Okay. So I'm curious to see how it takes off. It seems to be really well built. Uh, only time will tell, you know, how, how yep. well and great it is. But, I mean, as far as, far as I can tell, it's going to be a really great wrench. I like the design of it. Uh, Hopefully it'll hold up. Yeah, that that's the thing is is, is how is it going to hold up? But uh, you know that's one of the biggest issues when you go to start to do like any kind of exhaust work or anything like that. If you have to take that O2 sensor out, mm -hmm. well, you can't just cut the wire. Of course, if it's the old Some one, you can. Some of them to come out. Some of them's terrible to come out. Some right. of them's a freaking disaster and a nightmare to come out. Right. You know? and, and sometimes you have to take it out, and it's not yeah. bad. And that's when you're screwed because if you mess it up, the customer ain't gonna want to pay for it. Uh, and, and that's just it and I have seen time and time again where it looks like you know it looks like they put the wrong size wrench on there and you, and most cases they haven't mm -hmm. it's just it was so freaking tight that it began to round and, and there you are well I know we've run into to situations with knock sensors right and one of the best things I ever found was that 
Knipex made tool you sold me that's the pipe wrench, you know? Right, right, yep. That'll get, if you got room to get to it. So, like not everything is that accessible on a car as it is like a big truck, but those things are worth their weight in gold. They have several different sizes of those, but the still the smallest size on that is, mm -hmm. is, is hard. Yeah. Um, I actually have the biggest size uh, at home. I don't know why I chose the biggest size. I, I don't know, but um, there's nothing that it cannot I mean, oh, it doesn't. You can get it on there. You got two options. It's coming out or it's breaking. That's the only. Yeah, it breaking. has not slipped on anything that I have put it on. It will to fix date. the issue that you're working on. Right. <laughs> you, may, you may create a new one, but you, you're going to get rid of that one. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, it, it, is, it is pretty neat. Well, I know everybody's waiting to see who won the purple ratchet and the hat, so I'm cut to the drawing of that and then we'll come right back. All right, guys, so today is the day that we get to draw the winner for the brand new Matco Locking Flex Head Comfort Grip in purple that we posted on here about two weeks ago, and today's the day that we draw the winner. Um, before we get into the winner drawing, I just want to say this. First of all, thank you for everybody that participated in the giveaway and left a comment saying I want to win that ratchet. Um, you know, without you guys support and watching the channel, we wouldn't grow to the size that we are. So I kind of want to do a little giveaway to say thanks for those that have been here. Going forward, there will be a lot of giveaways on this channel. I've decided I'm going to start doing more giveaways from different tools. Um, it may be tool truck tools. It may be you know, other brand tools. I'm not sure yet. We're just going to kind of play it by ear as we go, but there will be more giveaways, but I will not be putting them on the thumbnail or the title or anything like that from now on, because it's only fair for the people that actually watch the channel. Um, we did gain a lot of subscribers from this giveaway, but I definitely think the giveaways going forward should be for the people that want to watch the channel for the content that we create. So just letting you know, be on the lookout. There will be some more giveaways coming. Um, I'm going to kind of do them just at random. It may be every two weeks. It may be every three weeks. It may be once a month. I don't know, but we are definitely going to be hosting more of them and just kind of engaging more of you guys. So I thought the fairest way to do the drawing for the Matco Ratchet would be to go to a random comment generator picker kind of thing. And that way you guys can see it as we do it. And that way you know it's all on a level playing field. Now one of the parameters was you have to be subscribed to the channel. So that is something that we will check um, before the final winner is given out. Hopefully everybody follows the rules and it's just a one and done deal. Who knows? But um, like I say, I've never done this before, so I've got it pulled up here. I'll put a screenshot over here so you guys can see it. But I just Googled YouTube random comment picker. I do have my screen record on that way I can share it here. Um, you paste the link to the video, which I'm doing. Um, you choose a filter with anything goes. I hit OK and it's loading all the comments. Um, I've never done this before, so I have no clue how it actually works, but we're gonna go through it together and see how it works, and hopefully the winner's subscribed and it's a one and done kind of deal. So we picked a winner, and it is Sean Mead. Um, he commented, I wanna win that ratchet. Purple is my favorite. So he followed all the rules there. So now we're going to select Sean's channel. We're going to go to his channel here, as you guys can see. And we're going to scroll down and see if he is subscribed to the channel. And there we go. So he is subscribed to the channel. 
So Sean Mead, you are the winner. Um, if you will, make sure you contact me via my email, cooncrucking101 at gmail.com. We'll get your shipping information. We'll get your stuff sent to you. And that way you can have the locking flex head ratchet that we're giving away. But anyway, guys, that's how we did the giveaways. Um, who knows? Um, I'm not sure what we'll do next or what we'll do or even when we'll do it, but we will be doing more. So you guys stay tuned for that one and bam, get in on it. All right, so there you go, guys. That's who won the ratchet um, and the hat. So hopefully he'll get some good use out of that. Like I say, we will be doing more giveaways. We'll probably pick stuff off Michael's truck just because Michael's a great dealer and he's reliable. <laughs> He's like an old school Chevy truck. He's always reliable. He's always. <laughs> and he's pretty easy to work on too. Well, Mama Matco just says, bam, and he goes to work. <laughs> That's how it I, works. Hey, you gotta get it done. I do wanna brag on something. Um, I know we've talked about the Grip Edge products. Yep. Um, and I've said that I really like them. I like the looks of them, like the design of them. I had a customer Tuesday that was, I mean, he was fed up. Like he was, he was at his breaking point. This comes off of a debarker. Um, it's got several of these bolts that go around that hold it on. It's the only thing that holds it on. And mm -hmm. apparently they like to break off and they have to drill it out. Sure. And, that looks like that would be fun. Too. So this one was, he got on the truck. Uh, I hadn't even made it back here yet, but I heard him ask her if we had anything that would get it out, guaranteed, no questions asked. And I said no from up there. And nope, well, you know, because I'm not going to guarantee uh, that because you never know the situation, right? But what I'd let him do is I said, I tell you what, let's go look at it and I'll pick something off the truck and we'll see what it'll do. Well, when I went and looked at it, he had uh, he had a Maco product here. He had a Snap-on product there, um, and then he had some other off-brand stuff there. They were all failing, but the design of those, every one of them, was um, like the spiral sure. th threads, yeah. and you know, basically, you, you you beat it down in there, and then you try to go, and it tries to reverse it out. All of those were just making the hole bigger, mm, so we wasn't it. right. We wasn't we wasn't doing any good. And it had some, the top of these threads here were messed up to the point to where even when they would go to bite, when it would go, they'd get caught and then that's where the rounding would occur. Yeah, that's where that wedge effect right. comes. So, yeah, because you're pushing out mm -hmm. on the threads. So we grabbed um, the some of these. Extractor, the extractor, the FOR kit. We grabbed this kit right here. Yep. Um, now he had already drilled the hole out with a different size bit, so we didn't get to use the drill bit, but we wanted to try it anyway. Now's the time, we got something broke. You know, this is gonna be a live demo. We're gonna see how it works. And the good part about it is something that everything else has done failed on. Right, everything else has done failed. And I'm not bashing none of the products that I just mentioned, uh, mentioned I'm not bashing them. Right. Because, you know, that's, that's not what I'm doing. I'm just saying they they failed on this operation. This is the one where he's like, I guess I'm just going to drill it all right. the way out. I'm like, well, no, let's try this. So what I had him do is I had him take one of these here in and we screwed this up, of course. But then, as you can see, that hole is, I mean, it pretty much goes in there by itself, right? Yeah. So I told him, I said, I don't know, that, since you've already drilled it out that big, I don't know that it'll work, but we're gonna try it anyway, which you can still see all the other marks. I don't know, but I can see yeah. all the other marks where the other ones were driving down in there and just making it bigger. He took this, he hit it with a hammer one time, it went down in there, and it was time to try it out. He no more than put his wrench on this and began to go with ease. I'm talking about, you never even seen a struggle. Just it just started taking it, right it out. That's awesome. He, and here's the thing about it. When he got done doing it, what impressed me is I was like, okay, well, we're gonna have to drive that off, you know, or start screwing this down and push it off. No, it just come right off. So it's not that, which it does bite, you can tell it bites, sure. or it wouldn't have turned it. But also the fact that we're not driving the threads out mm -hmm. to a point, because see, all the other ones are tapered. Yeah. And you're driving them in and it's spreading that out, you're making it tighter. The fact that this that one doesn't, yeah, yeah, the fact that this one doesn't do it, 
but had enough bite on it to get it out. That's what I told him. I said, if you'd have used that right drill bit, we'd have mm -hmm. had no question. I mean, it would have pulled it out no problem. So did he buy a set? He did. <laughs> he bought <laughs> a set immediately. Uh, he should have. When we went out there, uh, he told me, he said, if it gets it out, I'll buy it. So, well, that's not really what we're doing, but if, you know, if that's what happens, sure. that's what happens. And uh, as soon as this come out, he said, I got four more to do. I'll take a set. Yeah. So we'll go price. He said, I don't care. I I'll, I'll buy take it. them. Yeah. That's, so, what, that's when you know you got to, that's what yeah. I told you that day we had that broken stud on that airbag when right. we was doing it in there. Michael's like, I think I got something that'll take it out. I said, if it'll take it out, I'll buy it. He took it out. He said, let me go get you a price. I said, it don't matter. It's sold. <laughs> that's just it. You know, and uh, it demonstrates that on the box. Uh, it demonstrates the wedge effect and, and, you know, pictures, you're looking at it. You're yeah. like, yeah, okay. They they're work. just trying to sell it to me, you know. No, these work. These mm -hmm. got him out of a tight situation quick. Uh, and, and like I was telling them, with that collar like that, you drill the hole on the exhaust stud, you go to, it gets tight. With other extractors, your only option at that point is to go on with it. Yeah. And you're either gonna strip that hole out or you're gonna break something. Mm -hmm. uh, with this, you just use that collar to push it off. Uh, and now you can heat that back up, drive it back on, sure. make sure your collar's back on. That way, if you have to do it again, mm -hmm really great design so well i know you're talking about not bashing other tools or whatever but you know those other extractors were awesome until somebody invented a better one right yeah the same so, way happened with ratchets like when they come up with ratchets a 12 tooth ratchet was amazing right you know and then when they come out with a 30 tooth ratchet you're like oh wait a minute this is way better you know well i know somebody's gonna say oh he you know he's bashing his own product i'm not yeah I, i'm not and though like you said those worked and, and the thing about it is the Mako and the Snap-on were very, very, very similar. Mm -hmm. um, and then the other brands, the same way, they were very, very similar. But uh, the thing about them is every one of them was small at the beginning, yep. bigger at the end. So you had to have a deeper hole. Mm -hmm. uh, and then also that wedge, that wedge effect, yep. you know, anytime you drive it in there, you're pushing these, you're pushing these out, you're making it tighter on yourself. Mm -hmm. And then you get that that strip effect where you start stripping it out, you're going to the next size, next size, and he didn't have much left yeah. and then he wasn't gonna, cause as you can see that it got so thin on this side, he, he didn't have a whole lot of options. It was just gonna get ugly real quick. Right. Uh, and that's what I told him, I, we were walking out there and he said, so you don't guarantee it. I said, well, I, this is what I guarantee. If it don't get it out, you'll have to turn it into liquid. That's all I know to tell you. <laughs> yeah, that's true. So, but. Well, it's the improvements is in tools, you know, like technology's brought us a long way. You know, yeah. like the caveman thought they had a cool tool with a rock when they was beating stuff in the ground, you know, as a hammer. If that had a dead blow back in, look where we'd be. Well, you and, know, and so. you know, the, the same way with the, the hex bits here, yep. No, nobody gets on the truck and says, that's a hex bit. Yep. Every one of them either says, what kind of new star is that, mm -hmm. or is that for torque? No, this is not, yep. which has got interesting now because we have Torx too, and they actually look like a torque, but these look nothing like the regular It's just because you're used to seeing that old right. school design. So when you start telling them, you know, this is, this can be an extractor, but it can also prevent it from stripping in yep. the first place. It puts them in a different mind to where they're like, well, I've already got Allen's. Right, but how many times is somebody mess one up? Now you're going behind him. All you can do is put it in there. There's nothing you can do different. Mm -hmm. And if it starts to strip, and you're up same, a creek. The same principle works for them. That wedge effect, you know, is... is well, and, and now he will never... Uh, I know this guy. He's a good guy. Uh, he won't even try the other ones. He won't get to this point yep. to where he's almost screwed. He'll, he's going to immediately go to there. Uh, and he's going to use it. And he's going to be done with it. Now, I did tell him on that set, it does come with the drill bits. Mm -hmm. um, it says plainly on the box that the drill bits have not covered lifetime warranty. So don't turn that drill all the way up and yeah. burn that drill bit up and then be like, well, this sucks. Well, the sucks. good part about them, you don't have to have left-handed drill bits. Right. They'll work with any drill bits. Well, so and that's what I told him. Up, just grab a set of the Matco Hyper Steps. And well, and that's what I told him. Because uh, he asked me, he did ask, in all honesty, he said, is the Hyper Steps or this drill bit better? I said. Oh, definitely the Hyper Steps. I said the Hyper 100%. Steps. Uh, is what I've seen work. I've never seen these work. And I honestly told him, I mean, in my head, I'm thinking hyper steps, you know, but I told him, I said, I don't know. I've never yep. used these bits. Because if you had asked me if these would have got an Allen out really well, I'd, 
said, well, I, I don't know. I think it's going to strip them. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm not going to make a judgment. I, I don't know. I have yeah. not seen those well, drill bits work. Well, they're not anything special. They're just left-handed drill bits that are in that set. And, you know, they did that pretty much so you would have a space to put the right size drill bit so you don't have to look. But, right. Well, you know, and think about it this way. Use those bits. When they break, Throw it, come on the Maco truck, say, hey, I need this size hyper step yep. bit. I need this one. Order them. Put and them back in the box. Put them in that box. Yeah. Don't use those bits except for with those exactly extractors. Right. That way you don't go to a, a burn up bit or a mm -hmm. broken bit when you're trying, when you're in this situation, it's like a tap and die set. Yep. You know, we're That's just trying to, all I'm trying to do is make it to where when something like this is the, the, the result, you're not throwing wrenches and everything else. Uh, That's it. I may sell Maco every day. Maco's my team. That's what I like. I sell all of their stuff. But if you're in there fixing throw wrenches and everything else, <laughs> think about quitting your yeah. job. Well, beating your face on the concrete. Let all me the fun stuff yeah. that goes through your mind. Let me show you this product that can make it a lot better. Absolutely. So, you know, still team Maco, but I just that right there is. Hey, a good tool's a good tool. Right? Man, I love tools. And if you're not honest enough to say it, somebody's going to leave it in the yeah. comments, so you might as well do yeah. it. Right. Well, I love tools, so yeah. I will never bash another tool just because of the name on it. You know, if that tool works, that's the greatest tool alive. So. That's it. All right. Well, guys, hopefully y'all enjoyed the video, and maybe y'all learned a little something today and seen some cool stuff. Like always, thanks for hanging out with us today. It is Friday, finally. So you guys have a great weekend. If you like the video, hit that thumbs up. Check over here for merchandise, cool tools, and discount codes down there. If you're not subscribed, take your finger, you click that button. See ya.